Porsche has always been known for their sports cars, and the Cayman is no exception. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Porsche 718 Cayman in depth, and if it's still a good sports car in 2023. I've just noticed that 99% of you guys are not subscribed. We are so close to 1,000 subs, so subscribe now for weekly car review updates. First, let's talk about the exterior design. From the front, the car has the classic Porsche look with the iconic headlights and sloping hood. Moving towards the back, you can see the signature slick lines of the Cayman, which gives it a very aerodynamic look with the Porsche logo badged below the small lipped up spoiler. Porsche has never really done any huge changes to the outside of their cars in the past 15 to 20 years. I guess don't fix what ain't broke, eh? You get these huge side air intakes with the fuel cap at the front right side of the car too. Huge 20 inch alloys with four pin brake calipers at the front and two pin brake calipers at the rear. Overall, the car looks very sporty and aggressive, which is perfect for a car like this. It's small enough to get around small country lanes and tight parking spots in the city. Now let's take a look at the interior. As you would expect from a Porsche, the interior is very well designed and built with high quality materials. The seats are comfortable and supportive, and there is plenty of headroom and legroom for drivers and passengers over six foot. The trio of circular dials facing the driver are pure Porsche, and with the rev counter taking pride in center position. You'll find a lot more physical buttons running through the center console than in some more modern cabins. Not always the worst thing in the world, but the idea of a solid fill button is preferred by the general car population. This also means they're instantly responsive and logically laid out. The seven inch touchscreen is starting to show its age in 2023. Inputs can sometimes take a few seconds. Graphics feel a little outdated, and it'd be nice to see some 1080p and even maybe a bit more than 30 frames per second. Apple CarPlay comes standard on these models. However, Android users will not be happy as Android Auto is not available on these featured cars. However, it's set up with the great sound system of Boast Audio System 10 speakers with 505 watts, or you can have the optional upgrade to 12 speaker Burmaster sound system with 821 watts. Standard equipment features on the Porsche is a little bit thin. Parking sensors front and back and cruise control. They're the only things you're going to get that come standard with your Porsche Cayman. Features such as keyless entry and rear window wipers, you'll have to pay extra for. This is a two-seater car, so there's no back seats. The Audi TTs manage to squeeze a pair of rear seats in, and so does the big brother and sister, the Porsche 911. The boot space is okay. However, it's slightly bigger than a Jag F-Type and Toyota Supra. You'll have to pack light though, as the front can only take up 150 liters and the rear will only take 272 liters. Now, let's talk about the performance of the Porsche 718 Cayman. The car is powered by a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 300 horses. This may not sound like a lot, but trust me, it's more than enough to give you a thrilling driving experience. The car can go from zero to 62 miles an hour in just 4.9 seconds, and it has a top speed of 170 miles an hour. The handling is also very precise and responsive, making it a joy to drive on winding roads. However, you can upgrade your engine to the S model, which has a 2.5 litre engine pushing 350 brake horsepower and doing 0-62 to in 4.2 seconds, with a top speed of an extra 7 miles an hour, being 177 miles an hour. Furthermore, if this is not good enough for you, you can upgrade to the GTS six cylinder model with a four litre pushing 400 horsepower. At this rate, if you're gonna do that, can I recommend you take a look at the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 RS, which you'll get 500 brake horsepower and a nought to 62 in 3.4 seconds. The PDK automatic transmission is better for the folks who are less inclined to manual gearboxes. However, for the better feel and connection with the car, the manual gearbox can be more engaging. Driving around towns, you can expect a sports car to be hard and annoying. Yet the suspension manages to smooth out bumps and feels perfectly at slow cruising at around five to 10 miles an hour. On the motorway, this Porsche is more than capable of good cruising. The fact it has the large wheels won't affect the ride quality you're feeling at all. However, you will receive more road to tire noise through the cabin with those big 20 inch wheels on. Hmm, that's a bit of a bummer. Wind noises at high speeds are noticeable. Porsche, you need to take a page from Toyota, as in their new GR Supra, they've got that down to a T, with high speed noises being perfected. Ah, uh, peaceful cruising. 
On the other hand, how does the Porsche fare on twisting roads? Twisty Tarmax brings to life how good this 718 really is. The rear wheel setup with the mid-engine layout and tuned suspension all combined together delivers an amazing driving experience. Comparison to the TTRS and BMW Z4, which both feel more blunt and heavy, the driving dynamics have been built together well on this machine. Porsche, give yourself a pat on the back as you've scored a 10 out of 10 for this part. As for safety features, the Porsche 718 Cayman comes with a range of advanced technologies such as stability control, traction control and a rear view camera. There's also an adoptional adaptive cruise control system which can help maintain a safe distance from the cars in front of you. So how much is one of these 718 Caymans going to set you back? Well, they range quite vividly, starting from £49,175 and it will go all the way up to £116,120. Monthly payments start from £651, however, you can easily find a used Porsche 718 Cayman that's two to four years old, ranging from anywhere from £28,000 to £36,000. Overall, the Porsche 718 Cayman is an excellent sports car that offers a perfect blend of performance and luxury. It's not the most practical car out there, but that's not what we're going for here. If you're looking for a car that will give you a thrilling driving experience and will make heads turn wherever you go, then the Porsche 718 Cayman is definitely worth considering.